I'm ready to be a horse school. Like, sign me up. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day. What is up? Today's video, I honestly just wanted something really chill because I have a migraine and honestly, I just knew I needed to film something that wouldn't take too much brain power. I mean, do not get me wrong, I still gotta, you know, think, I guess, um, but you know what I mean. Lately, I've been kind of waiting about three to four months to film a dedicated thrift haul type of video, very much leaning more more towards like a collective thrift haul of things that I've thrifted here and there in the past four months. And the last time I filmed one was at the end of January. And I was gonna wait again for like three to four months until I filmed another one. But I actually had an amazing viewer on Depop actually message me because I had liked one of their items and they asked if they could send me a couple of pieces not to include in a haul, just like they like my videos and they wanted to send me some stuff, which is the Depop account shop Mary Posa. I thought they were gonna send me like maybe one or two things, but when the package came, it was so big. They ended up sending 12 items, which is just so generous, so kind. And I actually got the package the day after I filmed my thrift haul back at the end of January. And I was gonna wait again another two to three months until I included it in a thrift haul, but it's just been sitting in my closet and I just really want to talk about it. So I figured I would just film it now. I do have have three pieces that I thrifted myself separately that I just figured I would include in this video. And it's very much super spring. Honestly, I am so excited. I've literally already been talking about spring way too much, but I just, I love spring and I am in my like spring style, like toddler overalls. Like I literally feel like a toddler in these and it's honestly amazing, but let's get into the pieces. So I figured I would start with the items that I personally thrifted and the first item I'm so excited about because I have been manifesting the like for Love and Lemons dress, this like white, it's a very particular dress. If you see it, which I'll have it on the screen, you know what I mean. I have been just searching for it to find on Depop, Poshmark, ThreadUp to where it wasn't like an insane price. And although I didn't end up actually finding it yet. I did find this beautiful top that is basically like the top version of that. It's a dupe, it's originally from Shein. I got it on ThreadUp. I definitely don't go out of my way to thrift Shein items, but it popped up. It's everything that I've been looking for for the past like six months. And so I am honestly really in love with it. It was about $9 from ThreadUp and it just looks like this, this little like puppy sleeve white blouse. I mean, I just love the little ruffles. Yeah, I am just obsessed with this. I love puffy sleeve blouses. White puffy sleeve blouses are just so beautiful. Next, I have a beautiful yellow sweater. And when it comes to sweaters lately, I've talked about it in a couple like thrift with me's or just different videos where I haven't really been into sweaters lately, but there was something about this one that caught my eye and then I felt it and I saw the fit and I just fell in love. This shade of yellow is literally my favorite. It's this beautiful, just like calming, butter yellow and I really love the color yellow. And so initially the color got me, but then I actually like kind of put it up and I was like, oh my gosh, this fit is amazing. I did end up thrifting it from Plato's Closet, I think for like $10 and is originally from the company A New Day. And it just is great, honestly. I don't have too much to say about it because it just, it genuinely brings me happiness. Lastly, I have these jeans that I thrifted on ThreadUp. They are originally from Zara. They are in a size four and they were $28.99. And I'm a little conflicted about them. I don't know. I don't like to return stuff, honestly, in general, but especially from like thread up, like I really try to make sure I like look at the measurements and everything. And the measurements like were good. Like they seemed like they were spot on, but the waist is a little bit like looser than I would personally like it to be. But I think the jeans are supposed to be like a loose fitting type of jeans. So they are these high-waisted jeans here. Definitely an interesting denim. I mean, it's, you know, it's from Zara. So it's not like that thick, rigid vintage denim that I love, but honestly, they're really comfy. Sometimes there are those times where I want to wear jeans, but it just, it is, you know, it is feeling a little bit uncomfortable. So I wanted a pair that was almost like sweats in a way. And so they honestly are really great. The high rise is insane. I don't think I've ever worn a pair of jeans that had this 
high of a high rise so i definitely have to give them that i've personally never tried any zara jeans i don't believe they are quite amazing it's just the waist that's really really loose which usually whenever i'm wearing denim like i'm going to wear a belt so it's not that big of a deal and i understand that that's probably why they are so comfy because they're a little bit loose but i did just think that was interesting because they were a size four and usually i'm a size six and they were still like too loose but again i think that was like the purpose anyway they're super long as well which is amazing i feel like most of my especially thrifted denim is quite cropped it's pretty normal for me because my height is in my legs and they honestly are the perfect length so i feel like i am gonna keep them just in the comfort and also i mean the style is really great i think they're kind of that loose baggy fit but then still being high rise especially super high rise i know a lot of people will be like alexa you have so many um pairs of jeans like do you really need another pair but every single pair of jeans i own I wear for different reasons and they all fit slightly different depending on a lot of different factors. And these are a pair that have a different reason of why I will wear them. So yeah. And now for all the items that shop Mary Posa had sent me. The first one is this cute little floral yellow top. Like look at how adorable that is. I just see that with honestly like shorts even or even under this. Like, I think that would be really cute. It's originally from the company Damiel, and I just think this is so precious. It definitely is very spring. Then another beautiful spring item originally from Liz Wear. It is this kind of like denim style vest with some florals on it. I've definitely gotten more into vests lately. Oh my gosh, I really love the little flowers on the buttons. Love that it has a little tie in the back just to make it a little bit more fitted and I just really love the style of this. I feel like it's something I wouldn't normally thrift for myself, but that I really, really like. And I think it's a great alternative of, you know, wanting to wear something sleeveless, but sometimes I'm like, I don't really want to wear like a tank top or something. So this is kind of a really great option. And I also thought it would look really good with these gingham pants that they had sent me as well, which are originally from ASOS. They are in a tall, and let me tell you, they are long. I was so so shocked about how long they were. I think I actually have to cuff them because of how long they are. And I have worn, yeah, I think I've already worn them in a video, maybe last Wednesday's video. I am pretty sure. And I just think they are so precious. And I do have some gingham pants that I recently thrifted, but those are kind of like a almost pajama pant type of style, whereas these are like proper jeans. And so I'm thinking, you know, a belt. And I think honestly, this could be really cute together. I basically got a thrifted mystery box. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> You've already seen this fruit button up. Honestly, I could not wait. I, when I opened up the box and saw this fruit button up, I just absolutely fell in love. And when I wore it in what video did I even film it in? Honestly, I don't remember, but I paired it with my fruit pants and like, it was honestly everything. Fruit pattern is one of my favorite patterns. I feel like you don't really come across it very often, not only in like new clothing, but even secondhand clothing. And so whenever I see something that has a fruit pattern, I'm just like, going straight for it. They did include a sweater vest, which I mean, I mean, I love sweater vests. Honestly, that's the way into my heart is a sweater vest. And this one, I really, I love the color. Obviously it's green, but then I love the little like floral horse on it. And it is a child's sweater vest. And so I, when I originally saw it, I was like, I am not, I do not have a child's body. I don't know how this is gonna fit. It's definitely a fitted sweater vest. Any type of like top I wear under it has to be quite a thin, tight one. But I mean, I'm ready to be a horse girl. Like sign me up. Probably one of my favorite items that they had sent me is this little blouse, this little pink blouse. I mean, it is, oh, I love the little like rhinestones on there. I got a little like, you know, sparkle in there. It is originally from magazine. It is in a medium. I am just such a sucker for these types of tops. And this pink is so nice. I've definitely really gravitated towards pink lately. Honestly, ever since I dyed my hair pink last year, I think I honestly do miss my pink hair quite a lot, but I really like my hair color now and I kind of don't want to like mess with it. So that's why I honestly keep finding pink clothing items to wear to kind of fill the void of me wanting pink hair again. Okay. This cardigan, 
It's got little bells on it. It is originally from Jantzine and the little like florals on the side. Okay, I don't know if it's supposed to be kind of like a Christmas cardigan because, or is that like, I, I thought this was like the Nutcracker, but I don't think it is. So I'm gonna take that back. Uh, feels like a February, like Valentine's type of cardigan. Why did I wear this on Valentine's Day? That would have been so cute. I am such a sucker for cardigans lately. So I definitely will be wearing this. It's not itchy. It doesn't shed. It's super comfy. It's great. It's fun. It makes noise when you walk. I'm not gonna lie, this skirt, I originally thought there were boats on it, but there, there isn't. I don't know why, but I was like, oh yeah, it's a tennis skirt that has boats on it. So kind of like yacht club style, um, but it does not. It's just like little shapes at the bottom. This little pleated tennis skirt. I will say, no, I guess it's not too see-through, like just a tiny bit. So I'll probably wear like some bike shorts under it. They actually sent me another skirt. It's very much giving me like fairy core. It's this dusty, like muted green with a bunch of embroidery flowers on it. And I definitely see this either with a white puff sleeve top or some sort of sweater with it. I really love the bottom of it. it has that very like draping, just again, very fairy core in my opinion. They actually sent me a bag, which when it comes to bags, I'm very like picky. I very much only use one bag or just my backpack. For me, I just need enough room for snacks and I'm like good to go. So I don't usually like try different bag styles, but they had included this cow print bag that honestly, yes, I will be rocking this. I love that it fits perfectly on your shoulder. I don't know, the really tiny bags are quite popular right now that are just like so tight on your shoulder. That's just way too uncomfortable. I will not wear it. And so this has a really good amount of space from the shoulder straps. And I absolutely obviously love cow print. Oh, they also sent me this cute little like smiley face yellow necklace. And then also this little like scarf. Um, I'm not really a scarf person, so I don't really know. Like, do I tie it around there? Do I wear it like a little bandana? And then the last piece is this pink leather I guess like blazer type of coat. It does have a tie that it came with and even like a faux fur kind of insert. I didn't really like the faux fur insert, so I just kind of like took it out. And I usually don't like tie things too much. So just wearing this like a normal like leather blazer, honestly is so cute. It is originally from Legacy. And I just, again, I love pink. I love the color. I don't have many like pops of colors in jackets or specifically blazers. So my mind was blown when I opened up the box and this was in it. It is so cute. And I think it's absolutely perfect for springtime. It is a little bit tight on the arms. It's just very structured. And I did kind of like, sanitize it in a way. So I think it still like needs to get its shape back a little bit, but overall super cute. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again Shop Mary Posa on Depop for sending me all these items. Literally so kind. Every single piece was so amazing and that's why I wanted to include it all in a video. And of course, all those items are secondhand, which is awesome. If you do like thrifting as well and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. I will see you guys in my next video video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye!